Hey, what's up guys, Nunu here. Today I want to share with you 15 things you didn't know Lumion can do, from weather effects, scene building tricks, to ways you can speed up your rendering. And stay tuned, because at the end of this video I'll show you how you can download for free the exact effect stack I used in the intro scene. Without further ado, let's jump into number one, Sun Study. This effect allows you to set the specific location where your project is. That way you can simulate accurate shadows depending on geographic location and season. For example, if I set the location to France in August, we can see how the sun looks at 10 am. Now, change that to the south of Australia and the sun is in a completely different position. One of my favorites is Northern Norway in the summer, where the sun never sets. Compare that to the south of Argentina at the same time of the year and you barely have any sunlight. Sun study is perfect for understanding how sun angles affect your project. Did you know you can add your own skies? Just add the real skies effect and load an HDRI. I use Polyheaven, they have a massive free collection. Here I downloaded two, an overcast sky and a sunset. Load them into Lumion and you will see instantly how much a sky changes the mood. But if you want something more custom, Lumion has its own cloud system. With sky and clouds, you can tweak the parameters and build your own unique skies. You are not limited to presets. You can set the amount of low clouds and high clouds, choose the type of cloud formations, and even adjust their speed and direction. Want a dramatic stormy sky? Push the low clouds and darken the coverage. Want a calm summer day? Light, high clouds, drifting slowly will do the trick. It's a really flexible system that lets you design the exact mood for your scene. This one's new and fully ray traced. You can control fog from sunlight, artificial lights, emissive materials, and skylight. It's amazing for cinematic renders and creating god rays. And if you like to go deeper into effects like this, check out my Lumion Render course. I'll leave a link up there and in the description below. And number five, it's contrails. Contrails add those white condensation trails left by airplanes. It's a subtle touch, but it makes the sky look photographed instead of generated. Perfect for exterior shots and from breaking up a too perfect blue sky. Rain or snow in just a click. The precipitation effect sets the mood, weather and storytelling. You can simulate droplets on glass for atmosphere or create puddles and reflections on surface for extra realism. This one I use a lot. It adds quick surface variation without wasting much time with decals. And by the way, if you don't already have Lumion, you can download the free trial directly from Lumion website. And for students, there's even better news. Lumion Pro is now completely free. I'll drop the links in the description so you can take a look. If you have a complex project, filling interiors with 3D models can take forever. Lumion has parallax interiors. When you move around, it looks like a fully modeled space with lights and depth, but in reality, it's just a simple plane. A lightweight solution for performance. There are over 25 options, from offices to residential and retail. This is a small icon you might have missed. Click the magnifying glass in the top left and you will see a list of all assets in your project. Organize by layers or filter them. For example, show only nature assets, really useful when scenes get heavy. Under Terrain Tools, there's a paint option to blend different textures. 
This breaks repetition and makes the ground feel natural. Think of how plants grow. Areas under the trees often don't have grass because of lack of light and nutrients. Manually painting those areas helps realism and even if you upscale later with AI, it gives the AI better context. Decals are like stickers you place on surfaces, like road markings, graffiti, cracks and dirt. They are often forgotten, but they add realism and imperfection, breaking the too clean CG look. I like using them for storytelling. For example, adding dirt and leakage on buildings, or subtle marks behind outdoor sofas where people have been moving them over time. This makes the space feel alive. In the material editor, besides basics, you can add weather effects for variation, use this button to break the repetition, or add vines quickly. One I always use, soften edges. It adds a tiny bevel to 90 degree angles. In real life, nothing has razor sharp edges. This small detail adds realism with highlights. Styrofoam mold makes your project look like a physical scale model. Perfect for early design stages or when you want to just focus on lighting without distractions. Pair this with orthographic view and you can create clean, stylized presentations. Great for portfolio sheets or design boards. I love using the fisheye effect for creative Instagram posts. Just load the effect, set it to maximum, drop your focal length to 100 mm and render your shots. And once you're ready to render, tick the AI Upscaler box. It boosts rendering times up to five times faster. One note though, Lumion's AI Upscaler doesn't just invent details, it just sharpens what's there. That's why it works perfectly for ArchViz. You get cleaner, faster results, and the design always stays true. By the way, here's a bonus one. Lumion is about to release Lumion Cloud, a brand new platform for visual collaboration. With just one click, you can upload renders directly from Lumion to the cloud. From there, you will be able to share your work with your team or clients and invite them to give feedback on images, videos, panoramas or PDFs. This means you can track all comments and design approvals in one place, instead of managing emails or heavy file transfers. Sounds like a huge time saver, I can't wait to give this new tool a try. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to cover Lumion Cloud in a future video. So those were the 15 things you didn't know Lumion can do. Which one surprised you the most? Drop it in the comments. And don't forget to grab the free effects stack I use for this project. Link in the description. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and check out my other video 11 Lumion tips all architects must know. I'll leave it right here. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one.